Did you know that the average American household needs to spend an additional $11,434 annually to maintain the same standard of living they had in January 2021? That's a question that many of us may find surprising, if not downright shocking. So what's the cause of this financial upheaval? A recent analysis conducted by the U.S. Senate Joint Economic Committee points to high inflation rates experienced over the past three years as the main culprit. This analysis, based on data such as the Consumer Price Index and the Consumer Expenditure Survey, paints a rather stark picture of the current economic landscape for many American households. Inflation, as we know, refers to the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising and subsequently, purchasing power is falling. In other words, as inflation increases, every dollar you have buys a smaller percentage of a good or service. The impact of this can be seen in the increased household expenditure needed to maintain the same standard of living. It's worth noting that these high inflation rates were not uniformly experienced across all states. Some states, like Colorado, saw higher additional expenditures to maintain the same standard of living, while others, like Arkansas, saw the lowest. The analysis also showed that lower-income households are more affected by inflation as they spend a larger portion of their income on basics. Despite a strong economy on paper, with receding inflation and robust growth figures, the reality for many American families is quite different. They're struggling financially, and inflation is the main reason for their pessimism about the economy. The rising cost of living has become a significant concern, with more people reporting financial struggles now compared to before the pandemic. In a nutshell, inflation, while an integral part of any thriving economy, has, in this case, led to an increase in the cost of living, pushing many households into financial discomfort. This has highlighted the need for measures to help families cope with these rising costs, and to ensure that the benefits of our growing economy are felt by all, not just a select few. Despite a strong economy, many American families are struggling financially, with inflation being the main reason for pessimism about the economy. So, how did the U.S. Senate Joint Economic Committee arrive at the figure of $11,434? Let's delve into the methodology behind this analysis. The U.S. Senate Joint Economic Committee, in their scrutiny of the rising cost of living, used a blend of data sources to construct a comprehensive picture. The Consumer Price Index, or CPI, played a significant role in their research. This index measures the average change over time in the prices paid by urban consumers for a market basket of consumer goods and services. In tandem with the CPI, the committee utilized the Consumer Expenditure Survey. This survey provides a detailed breakdown of the average spending habits of American households. By drawing from these two sources, the committee could cross-reference and analyze the changes in prices against the changes in consumer behavior. The research didn't stop at a national level. The committee went a step further to examine the impact of inflation on a state-by-state -state basis. This granular approach was pivotal in understanding how inflation affected different regions. For instance, the state requiring the highest additional expenditures to maintain the same standard of living was found to be Colorado, while Arkansas had the lowest. However, it's important to note that this analysis was not without its critics. The Biden administration, for instance, criticized the committee's findings, stating that per capita disposable income has actually risen since December 2020. This counterpoint suggests that while prices may have risen, so too have incomes, offering some balance to the inflationary pressures. But whether we focus on the analysis of the Senate Joint Economic Committee or the response from the Biden administration, one fact remains clear. The impact of inflation cannot be denied. As we continue to navigate the economic landscape of the 2020s, understanding the mechanisms and effects of inflation will remain paramount. And inflation affects every aspect of our lives, from the food we eat to the homes we live in. It's like an invisible tax that slowly eats into our purchasing power, making everything pricier. This is particularly true for the main categories requiring increased spending due to inflation, food, transportation, housing, and energy. Let's take a closer look. Food prices aren't just rising, they're soaring. That loaf of bread, gallon of milk, or bunch of bananas you buy every week? They're costing you more. And it's not just the price of groceries that's going up. The cost of dining out has also seen a significant uptick. Next, let's talk transportation. Whether you're driving your own vehicle or using public transportation, you're paying more. 
gas prices are at a high, and public transit fares have also escalated. It's not just the cost of getting from point A to point B that's gone up, the price of new and used vehicles has also risen sharply. Housing is another area where we're feeling the pinch. Rent prices have skyrocketed and the cost of buying a home is at an all-time high. This makes it especially hard for first-time homebuyers to enter the market. Energy costs, including electricity and heating, are also on the rise. This means higher utility bills every month, which can be particularly hard in the colder months when heating costs spike. Interestingly, the impact of inflation varies from state to state. For example, Colorado tops the list with the highest additional expenditures needed to maintain the same standard of living. On the other end of the spectrum, Arkansas has the lowest additional costs. Lower income households are more affected by inflation as they spend a larger portion of their income on basics. This makes it harder for these households to keep up with rising prices, putting a significant strain on their budgets. Inflation, it seems, hits those who can least afford it the hardest. Inflation is currently at a lower rate, but prices are not declining and consumers are still paying more compared to pre-inflation levels. This leaves us to ponder the potential long-term impacts of such a scenario. The current economic landscape presents a complex picture, where inflation is more than just a temporary visitor. Consumer behavior has seen a dramatic shift. Right now, consumers are spending at a staggering rate of over $100 billion per month. This is largely due to the pent-up demand from the lockdown period when spending opportunities were limited. However, this spending spree is rapidly depleting the excess savings accumulated during the pandemic. As households exhaust their savings, we may see a significant decline in consumer spending. On the one hand, this could curb inflation by reducing demand and slowing down the upward pressure on prices. However, on the other hand, it could also weaken economic growth. Consumer spending fuels the economy, and a decrease in spending can lead to slower economic growth and even a potential recession. The Federal Reserve has responded to high inflation by raising interest rates, a move that can also dampen consumer spending and investment. While this can help manage inflation, it's a delicate balance. Higher interest rates can negatively impact asset prices and demand, potentially leading to economic slowdown and increasing the likelihood of a recession. This brings us to the question, what does the future hold for American households? The answer is complex and uncertain, as it depends on a myriad of factors, from government policies and global economic trends to individual household financial management. In conclusion, the impact of inflation on American households is undeniable, with the average household needing to spend an additional $11,434 annually to maintain the same standard of living as in 2021. It's a sobering figure that underscores the importance of understanding and navigating the economic landscape in these challenging times.